for your submission. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, the uh, next submission is uh, Linda Janks. Thank you. You've had a busy day. Can you hear me? I've, I've never done anything like this. So yep. nice that you're sitting right there. I'm from Hallswell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Um, just brief adding to what you might have already read, that the um, intersection is a subdivision area of um, Sparks Road, Milnes Road, Sutherlands Road is going great guns, great. And um, I don't see any provisions at this point for managing this. And as I understand, your considerations of this has been bumped up or back to 2007 and 2027 and 2028. And I just think that that's um, not appropriate at all. That area is um, highly congested. I live on Hallswell Junction Road up a long drive. I walk twice a day with the dog. and. Um, just am a keen observer of traffic, heavy, heavy use. And um, I'm just wondering what your considerations are going to be, the bicycling, et cetera, and um, to not address it preemptively seems a pity. I will say that in Rolleston, I lived in Rolleston for a while post-quakes and then came back to town. And um, this was pre-Southern Motorway and everything. And their city council had set up um, your really nice little mock setups and everything of this is what it's going to look like, this is what's going to go on. And I'm wondering if we tried things like that a little bit more, or maybe we do and I don't know it, it would make the communities feel like they're being listened to and paid attention to instead of just developing the land so that we can get taxes out of it, you know, growth. Anyway, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Sometimes um, a short submission makes more impact than, um, you know, sort of a lengthy one, simply because you've focused on an issue. The community board raised this earlier on today, so um, yeah, yeah. It, it is something we're alert to. But perhaps you, you kind of, could you describe what you're observing, you know, like in terms of the impact of the, um, I mean, do you see... Oh, it's heavy truckloads, but is too. But it's dangerous, truckload. you know, like... Well, yeah. I see the children going to Hallswell schools and everything, and I'm just, I've only been retired one year, and I'm a registered nurse. I worked in general practice, and so I'm a risk assessment person. Mm -hmm. And I just see all this, and I'm just going, oh, well, the kids have got to learn how da 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 but they aren't even cognitively, spatially good until they're at least eight years old. But, um, and also, Hallswell Junction Road and Nichols Road, where you go into the, that's an appalling site. And I think they should have made it roundabout, but then all those big construction trucks couldn't do what they need to do. And now that they're developing Hallswell Road down by the BP, you see, the motorway didn't really help Hallswell at all. It didn't do Hallswell a favor, not one bit. And it, in, you know, because I moved back to town, I kind of knew what I was buying into. But it's just unfortunate that Hallswell has been impacted the way it has. But I would like to see some preempting of maybe in that area between Hallswell Road, Hallswell Junction Road, all the way down to Henderson's Road. It's, it's, it's gonzo time, and there needs to be some management thought about what are we gonna do next. I understand there's a retirement home going up or a rest home. Mm. You're gonna have lots of little old drivers too. And um, you've got one bicycle lane, which is good. Got a traffic light, good. But we need more consideration there, and I don't think it can wait till 2027. Or I'd, I think it would be foolish to wait until it was I'm going to invite Ian to. You, get, you can do yeah, whatever you like. You obviously will. But, you know, but, um, yeah. Linda, okay. Thank you for coming in. Thank and, you. And no, stay there for a minute. Um, it's, uh, We're not done. I think it's interesting that um, I think your issue about getting information to people is really key because mm. a lot of the issues that you've raised are actually, in fact, being dealt with by the council. The, the, 
the, the growth in Horsewall was always planned, but it just happened a lot more quickly because of the earthquake. Yes. So okay. I, I think there was some really good information that you would appreciate having, but I, I, I do hear this from, from residents, and I wonder if you've got any ideas about how to get that kind of information across in a way that would be useful. I think the mark of the library, using the library, because... Um, like I say, since I'm now retired, I'm tuned in to wanting to get more information. And so school, um, school age type parents, you know, address, reaching out to them somehow, you know. But mock-ups in libraries are great. Mm. Just thinking about that, a big map showing yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. things but are going to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And kind of like you are here and... Because when the whole Southern Motorway was going on, it was hard to imagine, oh, it's going to be this. And now when I drive down to Rose, and it's like, oh, my God, 10 years ago it didn't look like this. And it's like Christchurch trying to find your way around. But, um, yeah, it's a... We've been having quite a lot of success with um, webinars, you know, where people can yes. look, watch, and then ask questions. And so does one some... need to be on a mailing list for webinars? Because I'm still doing wet medical webinars because the whole yes. COVID thing, even yeah. I'm retired. But the webinars are great. Yeah, so that could be a way to yeah. get yeah. information across. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys for having such a long day. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you very much. Thank you.